What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. We're starting this vlog a little bit late today. Uh, we're actually cooking dinner, so it's a lot late. Because it's late, we figured we would respond to some of your comments. We love doing that, you guys love it when we do that. See what you guys have to say and all the sweet things. Maybe some not so sweet things, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what we find down in the comments. This video is sponsored by Facebook, huge shout out to them. This has been a hot topic, a big question. Question number one, how is Abby gonna do when Isaiah leaves for college? That's the big question and, and we're gonna answer that for you. We we don't know, we don't know, but hopefully, hopefully this can help. Abby, guess what? Guess what? They're giving away a portal. One portal, portal from Facebook. You guys can win a portal. It's amazing. We're doing a giveaway. Okay, all you have to do to enter the giveaway is you have to tell me down below in the comments, you have to comment, let me know who you would stay in touch with, with your own portal, and how that would help you stay better connected with people far away. Let me know down in the comments. I'm so excited. Are you so excited? I'm so excited. So excited. <laughs> Woo. Mom's cooking dinner. What you making? I am making stuffed shells. Mm. It's one of the favorites. Alexa, turn on the kitchen. Okay. Yes, Portal does have Alexa built into it, which you guys know. We use uh, home automation a lot in this house, enough that it annoys you. Like, I see in the comment section all the time how we set off your devices, so you're welcome for that. One thing that we do get a lot is is how Abigail's going to do when Isaiah leaves for college. It's a tough subject for us, you know? Man, I'm already getting freaking emotional before we even start on it. So our whole family dynamic is gonna change when Isaiah leaves for college. Um, it's gonna be rough, and he should just stay here. Yeah, he should probably just stay here. <laughs> we'll talk about it. <laughs> it's gonna be hard, you know, he's her best friend. Uh, they do a lot together. There are things that a sibling can provide that parents just can't, and that's gonna be really, really hard. <sighs> Dang it. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm sorry. Come on, man. I'm it's sorry. Cut, cutting the onions. <laughs> I really am, and I'm not using my... Uh. Goggles. <laughs> Seriously, when we when we got Portal on our counter, um, this was what I thought about initially, was how this helps people stay connected, how it's gonna help Abigail stay connected with her brother. That means so very much to me. What makes it unique, what makes it different, is the fact that it does have the smart camera, keeps Abigail in frame so that, so that he can interact with us in a very natural manner. You know, you're not trying to hold up some device and like keep it in front of her the whole time. That means the world to us. The smart microphone, so it's not gonna pick up like mom chopping onions over here it's gonna pick up your voice when there's background noise of isaiah partying in college it's gonna focus on his voice there's no partying <laughs> in college the application that that we have found with it not just with grandparents and with cousins and and distant family members but just with your brother going off to college i'm sure i mean you guys saw story time uh in our last video with my nephews i'm sure isaiah is gonna read three little pigs to abigail from college right it depends on if I'm on a frat or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another really popular comment that we get, especially when we talk about Portal, is you should get Summer a Portal so that she can communicate with Abigail and keep in touch with Abigail. Well, funny thing is... Okay, that's just a ridiculous coincidence. That That's the picture. <laughs> yeah, Superframe lets you pick what pictures you want to show up on your Portal. All I love that I can see pictures. It just makes my heart smile when... I can see memories pop up on the screen yeah. all the time. I do, I have an awesome page. You have a good Facebook page, but <laughs> We have both of our accounts on here, so we can call from, from either one. So you can do more than one account, which is, which is pretty dope. Oh, that's nice. Hey, Portal. Call Summer. Which one? Summer Magliocetti or Summer Lewis? Summer Magliocetti. Call Summer Magliocetti, right? Yes. Hi. 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 I can't see you guys. Oh, I'm sorry. I have my, <laughs> oh, there you are. I have my thing on. Hi. How are Hi. you? I'm good. How are you? Good. We miss you. I feel like I feel like I'm in a movie when I'm on this screen. I don't know <laughs> <laughs> why, but it looks so different. It's crazy, right? Yeah. Like the the quality is incredible. As soon as I opened it up, as soon as I got back, I called my mom on it, I called my dad on it. I was like, look how cool it is. <laughs> <laughs> Abigail. She's smiling. Oh, she's smiling. Who is it? Hey, Sam. Hiya. Hey, Sam. Hi. Hi. Say, I miss Aww. you. Oh. How are you? I like your shirt. 
Aw, she was saying, come here. Aw, that's a baby claw. Aw. Aw, there's your bestie. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I miss you. Can you say bye to Summer? Say bye. Can you blow say her bye. kisses? Say bye. Say love you. Say I love you. I Look, love she's you. blowing you kisses. Bye, Summer. Mwah. Hey, Portal, hang up. <laughs> to have use it when Isaiah goes off to college. It's, it's going to make it easier for me. Yeah. 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 Isaiah will be taking a uh, portal with him and to we're college. And when I overuse it, it really I won't do that to you. It's really going to be not. for Ab to yeah. be able to communicate mm -hmm. with you cuz it's not like she can pick up a phone right. and call her brother. So best way to video chat, best way and only way that she's ever um, really engaged with anybody via video chat, so We'll get one for you. And you can play games on it. Like what? Instead of doing homework? What do you mean like what? There's games. There's games? Yeah. 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 New, new thing they added. Check it out. You can play words with friends? I say it. This will make you smarter. Battleship. So you need to do... No, Poker dice? That, that is... Uh, I do that all the time. Yeah. Poker dice is a lot of fun. Mom's going to spend all her time in here now. How do I play? Watch. Okay. So you want two pair? See? So, oh. here we got queens. Go ahead and hold the ace. There you go. Queens and aces. Look at that. Play your hand. It's a good hand. You're going to beat Glenn, Priscilla. You still beat him. I won. Take that, Glenn. Next game. Who's my next, who's my next victim? So, while Priscilla's playing her games over here, I'll tell you about some other cool stuff uh, from Portal, from Facebook. So there are security features on here, which we really like. Uh, you know, we don't want Abigail coming over here and just calling people at random. So we have a passcode set on here so she can't just go and tap and tap and, and call people. Um, another safety feature on here, security feature, is that you can disable the camera and the microphone on it um, with the touch of a button. And then also it has the old school, like, uh, you know, webcam style cover uh, to go over top of the camera. So good security features on there. Everything is internal in the machine. Nothing goes through any servers, nothing like that. It's, it utilizes Facebook Messenger. Um, obviously the best experience you're gonna get is portal to portal calling, uh, but you can call anybody that has Facebook Messenger. You got, a, you got a comment? I do. Okay. Okay, this is from Heather Barnes. This is just a comment. It's not a um, question or anything. She says, you know, there's no such thing as a perfect parent let alone a perfect autism parent, because life can throw you extra curveballs. However, you two are the closest thing to perfect autism neurotypical parents I've ever come across. Your perfect love of your children just shines through every video. Kudos to you both. And I just want to tell you, that means the world to us. Obviously, we're not perfect, but it means the world to us to hear comments like that, and that just what, I don't know, makes us keep going, and Aww. I hope we're raising good humans. <laughs> Isn't that like our goal all the time, all of us as parents? You just hope you're raising good humans. Yep. Thank you for that. That so was very thank sweet. thank you. Yeah, I made my morning. Some days... You just need to read a comment like that. Yeah. I am not going to put a name with this one just because it was a DM on Twitter. So I don't, you know, sometimes people DM you just to send a private message. But uh, this person said, I just saw your YouTube channel for the first time. I'm in the mother of a six-year-old nonverbal autistic boy. Seeing you go through things that I experienced with my son gives me strength and hope. Thank you for opening your lives to us. Getting those DMs from you guys and those messages and comments like that, that literally keeps us going. Yeah. That is why we do what we do. Isaiah, I've got one for you. Uh, Tracy Whittemore said, thank you for sharing Stephen's story. It was amazing to see the family's reaction, knowing their child will have his independence. Makes me want to be a better person, truly inspiring. That's, that's really awesome. That, I think that's, that's right up there with like, you know, wanting to raise good humans type mm -hmm. of thing. Thank you so much, Tracy. Yes. Isaiah, if you don't know, Isaiah went to um, El Salvador last summer and uh, carried medical supplies and stuff up a mountain to a little boy with autism and other physical disabilities, delivered them to the little boy and his family, food and Every time we tell that story, it sounds like we made it up. Like, Isaiah. he carried things up a mountain. It's, it sounds like a... This was all a dream. It sounds like a parable. Right, it I'll does. Put, is that the right word? An odyssey? Yes, an odyssey, if you will. Yeah, um, I'll link that video right up here so you guys can check that out. That was, I'm proud, super proud of him for that. Like anytime he screws up, I'm like, he climbed a mountain. Climb the mountain. <laughs>
I have one. This is from Megan Parker. She says, can Abby read what the videos are about? Hey, Ab, can you read words? Mm-hmm. No, you can't read either. Mm. Can, can you talk? You can? You can talk? You can? Mm. Say, yeah, I talk. I just talk different than a lot of people. Abby talks with sign language, and she uses her tablet. She just doesn't use spoken word. She is vocal. She's just not verbal. As in, she makes noises, but not words. She makes sounds, but not words. Some of her sounds are a form of communication sometimes, uh, just not words. I have a couple of them that are kind of funny. They're funny to us because we forget that people, when you make YouTube videos, you assume everybody watches everything. Right. You know what I mean? But we have new people all the time. So Kylie Adkins asks, have you guys tried surfers for autism in Flagler Beach, Florida, about 45 miles south of Jacksonville? Oh, Isn't that funny? funny? So we are old school crew for surfers for autism. We've been doing surfers for autism for... This will be our eighth year. Yeah. And we go to most of the events up and down the coast of Florida, even up into Georgia. Um, and we've done Flagler, I think, every year. Yeah. We've done Flagler. So, yes, we are very familiar with it. Love SFA and our, our SFA family, our SFA crew. Looking forward to warm weather again when we can get Abby back out in the water, back on a surfboard. She loves the beach, loves surfing, loves the sand. It is definitely her happy place. It definitely is. Alexa. I got it. Set a timer for nine minutes. Nine minutes. Okay. I got another one for you. You ready? Yeah. This one again, like we answer this all the time, but I've come to the conclusion, like we're going to have to keep answering it just because, because it's, it's a little bit different of a relationship, a little bit different of a situation. Okay. Who is Summer? And I, a lot of people have asked this. We've had like five in the last couple of days. So. so Summer is Abby's best friend. Summer is not related to our family. Right. Not by blood. <laughs> we look at her as an adopted daughter. Yeah. She has an amazing family that we adore. And we get to borrow her. How cool is that? Right. Like, She's like our third child. She is. She's very much like a sibling to Isaiah and yeah. to Abby. Like a really close big sister. But she Abigail. also helps take care of Abigail. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, we just love having her. She goes to school in New York. She is from Florida. Her family lives in Florida. So when she's home visiting, she comes to visit us as well. I had to get this on camera. I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm cooking. I'm cooking this whole meal, guys. It's all alive. It's me. Hey, guys. Can oh. you turn your stove off? Ah! Okay, I got one from It's Casey. Uh, they said, I know a lot of people with autism, but I've never seen one that can't talk. About 30% of people with autism are considered nonverbal. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean, like, Abigail is totally nonverbal. She's never spoken a word. Some, some people are considered nonverbal because they don't, they don't use words to communicate. They may do scripting. They may know how to say words, but they don't use it for communication. So that includes them as well. But, uh, yeah, about 30% of people with autism. There you go. There's a fun fact. Alex Tolshian, Tolshian said, I've noticed Abby hasn't needed the tubes in the vlogs lately. Is there anything you guys changed to have that happen? We have a contraption for Abigail. She used to, to G-A-G. I'm gonna spell it out for you, G-A-G. It was a stimming behavior, and she would do that. She'd like the sensation of, you know, she would stick her hand in her mouth and, and make herself do that. We don't we don't say it out loud. It's it's our Voldemort, okay? We, we don't, we don't, talk, about we don't talk about it in front of her. Uh, she wore this contraption, it was a sweatshirt, basically, with rigid tubes built into it so that she could not get her hand up to her mouth because there's no way to replace that stimming behavior to redirect her so we had to totally uh, get rid of it. it had to had to go away um extinguish the behavior entirely what do they call it extincting behavior extincting or extinguishing i don't know yeah. uab therapist can correct me if i'm wrong down in the comments but we didn't do anything to stop it other than use the tubes which that's what they're go. yeah it comes and goes but we use the tubes and that helps it to go faster uh, a lot of her stems will come and go we will probably see that one again and it's terrible okay guys i got one more here for you uh this one's from katherine paxton katherine said do feel so sorry for abby must be hard not to be able to do anything on her own and not be able to speak she's such a be she's such a beautiful she must get frustrated she's lucky she has a good mom and dad and brother who loves her and cares about her. Thank you so much, Catherine. I but I would tell like all of you like don't feel sorry. No. Don't feel so. Don't pity people. Abby's happy. You know she is happy 
with who she is. I mean, I think that's evident. I think anybody can tell that she's a happy person, a happy child. Like, don't measure the, the, the quality of people's lives based on what you think her life should be like. You know, well, we learned that, and it wasn't that long ago yeah. that we learned that. You know, we were measuring what Abigail's life should be like and where, she, where we want her to be based on what's the, what the norm is. You know, where, where, where our lives are or where most people's lives are, where a typical person's life ends up. And Abigail may never get to those points, and that's okay because it's her life. Um, you know, when Abigail reaches these little milestones and when she accomplishes these things, it's, it's amazing for us. We're so proud of her, and she's so proud of herself. And her life's just different. It's not less. Abby, I have no, no. <laughs> she would dip it right out of there and See? just start eating. Yeah. Like. All right, guys, we're going to enjoy this dinner. It's going to be ready really, really soon. It just has to bake, right? Yeah. Priscilla has this recipe over on her channel, so you can go check it out. It's it's an amazing, amazing recipe. Um, yeah, we're going to go eat dinner. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for all your comments and questions. We'll definitely do this again real soon. Yeah. I love these kinds of videos just because we get to, you know, communicate with you guys. You know, there's there's a lot more to be said than what we can type in the comments section. And I want you to know, we still read every comment. We do. Every single one of them. Even the ugly ones. Yeah. We didn't read any of those today, though, did we? <laughs> nope. Just the good ones. Okay. That's it for us, guys. Make sure you check out down in the video description, Portal from Facebook. It's amazing. We've talked about it so many times. We love having it as part of our lives. We love having it on our counter, on Summer's counter, soon to be on Isaiah's counter, on my mom's counter, on my brother's counter. Uh, David... The Wiesners, the Wies, they have it over on over on their channel. They bought one because they now we communicate with them all the time on yep. it. We video chat with them, so that's so cool. Like we're, we're everybody, 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 everybody needs get one. one. Everybody needs one. Get one. They are so cool. Uh, links down in the video description for that. Make sure you check that out. Okay, guys, that is it for us today. Thanks for hanging out. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Defeat. Claire defeated you. Good game. Good game, Claire. You've bested me this time. Ugh. You gotta get flush, see? What's the wild? Anything I want? Anything you want. So can I do three queens? Nope, you're playing a flush. So I want queens and sevens? Nope, that's a that's a full house. What's a flush? <laughs> <laughs> oh, two, three, four. <gasps> no, two, flush. three, it's four, no, five, six. Diamonds, seven. diamonds. Oh, diamonds. <laughs> I'm so excited. I feel like we need to go to Vegas.